Happy Easter, everybody. Today, I'm excited to bring to you Easter pie. I got a lot of requests for this. Um, it's just a very traditional Italian, like kind of like an appetizer almost, because you can serve this um, room temperature like before your dinner, you know, like, like I said, like a finger food, like an appetizer. So I'm going to show you um, how to make this easy pie today. So Easter pie is really called pizza rustica. Um, it originated in Naples uh, way back in like the 17th century. Uh, and the original name was pizza rupieni. So um, if you're Napolitan or have Napolitan heritage, then um, you will know this um, recipe very well. So I've got all my ingredients here today and um, I've added a few things. I always say these are things that you can get right at the store or maybe that you already have in your pantry. Um, I realize somebody's pantry may be different than mine. Mine's a little more Italian um, oriented because I always have ricotta, I always have cheese, and I always have cold cuts. But if you didn't, those are the things that we're going to be using today. So the pan we're going to need is a springform pan. So this is a, you know, when I say springform because when you open this up, the bottom comes out and it just makes for an easy serving. But you're left with this beautiful rim of whatever it was you were baking. So um, we're gonna be using a springform pan and I already went ahead and I sprayed it. So just with the spray stuff, I also went ahead and I put my oven on to 350 because that's the temperature that we're going to be baking at. And the main thing was I went, I'm using spinach. So whenever I, um, whenever I have um, like spinach in a recipe and if it's frozen, I like to thaw it out and squeeze out that excess water. Then I put it on a paper towel for a little bit and then I, I it's nice and like, I don't want to say dry, but all the wetness is out of it and you're just left basically, you know, with the spinach because we're going to be using that today. Okay, so I'm going to show you first things first how to make this delicious pie. And if you don't know what pizza rustica looks like, I already have one made for you guys. And this is it right here. It is so delicious, I have to tell you. You would just cut this like you would a pie. You could pick it up and eat it, or you can eat it with um, a fork. Um, we even put like a little marinara on it. And that's what pizza rustica really means, stuffed pizza. So we're gonna put all the wonderful things that we have on a pizza inside of this. So I'm gonna just put that down. We're gonna have a little bit of that later. Um, I got my little trusty kitchen man here, Pepe, and today he is eating cherry tomatoes. So I had a lot left over, so that's what he's eating. Okay, first, let's get going with the pizzas, Rustica. So I already sprayed my pan, and behind me I have um, a pie shell. Now this is just the one that you get, like from Pillsbury in the store. Um, of course, you can make your own rustic one if you want to. Many recipes out there. And then you're just gonna put it, but time saving, I'm using the Pillsbury. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead, put it in, and we're kinda try, gonna try to bring the sides up a little bit if you can. So if you see me here, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to get the sides to come up here. We're gonna, you might have to just kinda like maneuver it a little bit. Yep, here we go. And remember, we have a top shell also that we can use, so that will be used to put it um, over the top when we're done. Okay, and that's how easy that was. I went ahead, put it all around, and we're done with that. I'm just gonna set this aside. And then next we're gonna start with the filling. So um, just in a small bowl, I have three eggs. The recipe calls for four because um, I've taken one and I beat it already. And we're gonna put that on afterwards before we put it in the oven to bake it. So that's how it gets that golden crust on the top. So I'm trying to see some of the people that are on here. Hi, Diana, how are you? And I see Janice. Um, I'm really happy you guys are on here today. I see Mary, my eyeballs are just horrible, guys. I have contacts, but I still have a hard time. Okay, so we're gonna put three eggs in a bowl here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Three eggs in a bowl, and we're going to add to it, 
I have my sink right here, so I can just always throw all my stuff in the sink. I love it. Works out really super good. Um, I'm gonna break these up a tad bit. Okay, and to this, I'm gonna add ricotta cheese. I always like to show you guys the products that I use because they're very handy. Because, hello, Joan. How are you? I see, oh, Bon, Bonnie, you just ate at the restaurant last night. It's nice to see you again. Okay, like I was saying, I like to show you guys like what you can get right at the supermarket, right at your fingertips. So I actually like the whole milk ricotta cheese. I don't, you know, I don't cut any corners here. And we're just going to go ahead and put the whole thing in there just like that. All 15 ounces. So we're gonna break it up and it's gonna, you know, kind of mix up very easily. We just wanna mix up this egg and the ricotta together. And anytime that you um, put eggs in ricotta like this and you bake it, it's gonna come out to like a quiche consistency. So this is gonna, in the oven, it's gonna bake and it's gonna get almost like a scrambled egg quiche consistency in here. And we're not gonna add any salt to this because um, the cold cuts already have like a salty flavor. These are cured meats, so they already have salt in them. So we don't really need to add any more salt to this. You Now is the time to add black pepper if you wanted to do that. Yes, Pat, you can have another tomato. You won't stop until I do. So I'm just getting here my pepper because I do want to add a little pepper into it. So just a pinch of pepper, that's all you need. Gives it a little bit of color as well. I, for one, I like to see pepper in sauces because I know it's gonna be good. Hello, Joan, yeah. I'm so waiting for you to come back down so we can have that wine together. Okay, all mixed up. See how easy this is gonna be? So now we're getting the pie shell back out and we're going to begin to build this inside. So I like to, this is prosciutto. Prosciutto is one of my um, favorite, you know, things when it comes to cured meats in Italian. At the restaurant, we had this big prosciutto leg that we had ordered. And when we were making our um, antipasto boards, we would cut the meat off at fresh. And oh my goodness, people loved it, including us. We kept cutting the meat off of it and we kept eating it. It was so good. So prosciutto is, you know, like this air dried ham up in Parma, um, up in Italy, northern Italy there, and it's, um, look how thin, paper thin this is. It's so good though. It has like a really mild, almost like a buttery, but like salty flavor to it. It's so delicious. So I'm just going ahead and I'm putting it on the bottom here. It's gonna act as kind of like the barrier for all the um, these other meats in here. So you can see that. So I have it just all in the bottom here. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to do like a hot capicola. Now I like it. I always remember my dad eating capicola when I was young and at the time I didn't like it because it was spicy, but it adds just a little bit of bite into this. So I love it. And again, I'm just going around. You can see each time I do. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of salami. Now this is the traditional um, pizza rustica is salami um, with the ricotta and but of course through time things have changed and people you know add a lot of things to it here like i'm gonna i'm gonna add a few things that aren't really traditional in this so okay so we've got the prosciutto the capicola the salami um i'm gonna add a little bit of ham into this um i had it left over so i figure you know what why not this is like a gonna be a really nice stuffed one so, you know, if you are Italian and you're watching this, I know this probably isn't the real traditional one, but it's one that, you know, I like. And this is like a genuine dish. Genuine. Okay, so now we have all of our meats here. The next thing I wanna add in, just for a little flavor here, is roasted red pepper strips. See, and you can get these also in the store. So I'm just going to take, I measured it out yesterday. It takes like maybe a little bit of half of the jar. So, um, and believe me, these honestly add such good flavor to this. It's incredible. It's almost like um, when you're biting into like a, a beautiful Italian sub, 
and you get that burst of a red pepper. It's just delicious. So I'm just taking these right out of the jar and placing them around in here. That's all we're doing. We don't have to put too many because we don't want them to overpower. So I'll put that over there, that's done. So this is what it should look like so far. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our um, ricotta and egg mixture. So let me replace the fork so I can get it out. Pepe, you are really bothering me for food today and you've eaten so much. You know what, maybe if I make play catch with him, he'll like it better, so I'll show him. Here, Pepe, Pepe, look. There he goes. It'll be a few minutes. Okay, easy. Just pour it right over the top, just like this. Use a spatula, get it all out. Don't waste anything. I've always learned that. Waste not, want not. Okay, so we've got it all out. And I'm just gonna spread it all over the top here and get it in nice and even. See this? Look how beautiful it looks. Next thing is the spinach. All right, and I'm just taking this. This is two of those boxes, um, the frozen ones that you find, you know, like I said earlier, that I have defrosted. So, and somebody else likes spinach as well. If you don't like it, if you don't want it, don't put it in. But I love the colors when you cut this and it's all layered together. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on um, shredded mozzarella all over the top. And I do it kind of thick because I love when you pull it apart when it comes out of the oven and it's warm and it, you just get that whole cheese pull. It's just incredible. So I basically used the whole bag. Um, this said six ounces, so that's done. And then on the top of that, I'm just going to go ahead and I have, I have Pecorino Romano. Um, this is one of the greatest um, Romano cheeses you could ever get. It's um, Locatelli and um, it's different because it's a sheep's milk. So it's a little bit sharper than Parmesan cheese. It's a little more salty or has a little bit of a bite. So I'm just going to gently put this around the top. Look at this, we're almost done and look how quick it was. Last thing, the top. Here's the pie crust. We're going to unroll it. Um, before I, oh yeah, we're gonna um, put some slits in it. I'm just bringing it down to reach the other pie shell that was in there. And I'm just flipping it over um, as we go here. Making like a little border. And remember, this is all sprayed now, so we don't have to worry about sticking. Look at that. Now, this is important. You have to slice some um, holes in the top because you have to let the steam out. So we're just doing a little bit like that. Get that little bit of spinach off. And this is almost picture perfect, guys. And now that last egg, remember I told you, I already beat it up. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the egg wash on it. And this is what in the oven will keep it um, nice and golden brown. So when you go to um, put this in the oven, I'm going to put it on top of a baking tray just in case something bubbles over. This way it's easy cleanup later. Um, I forgot the other day and now I've got, I think I made like a blueberry buckle or something like that and the juice is just spilled over into the oven and now I've got to clean it. So I've painted this with the egg wash pretty much all around. So that's all done. And the last thing I'm gonna do now is just sprinkle a little bit of the pecorino um, around the top again. And I'm going to put this in a 350 um, oven. And then what you would do is you would take um, some Reynolds wrap, put it over the top, bake it like this for one hour. Then you can go ahead and you take the Reynolds wrap off. Let me get him tomato, there you go. Then you bake it for another half an hour and um, then it's completely done. What you want is you want to get that beautiful golden crust. So i am actually got it here like I showed you guys. This is it. Guys, it's amazing. It is, I made this yesterday afternoon just to make sure I showed you guys 
and it, it is like one of the best things I've ever tasted. Here, here Pep, go ahead, go chase your tomatoes, good boy. And I'm gonna cut off a piece and I'm gonna show you how good it is. Now, you could, you know, if you wanted to get marinara, you know, you could get marinara and dip it in that, whatever you wanted to do, but it's really not necessary because this has a lot of flavor on its own. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut a piece here. Okay, and look how beautiful, look at this. Let me just see all the colors in this. You see the, the spinach, you can see the red peppers over here on this side, you can see, and the meats all in there like that. And that's how the egg bakes. And it's so delicious when it's done. And it's warm and it's got that stringy pull to the cheese. And it's perfect. You can pick it up and eat it just like that if you want. Actually, I think I will. Just pick it up and bite into it. Mm. It's a delicious little appetizer on Easter. So I gave you a little bit of the backstory of Pizza Rustica, Rupiani, and how we can eat it still today and we can make it our own just by adding a few different ingredients. So I hope I did post the recipe yesterday. So if you want it, it's up on my Wednesday Facebook post with a picture of this. So this way you have it, print it off, make some of your um, family some of this for Easter. They're gonna love it. All right, Pat, I'm gonna get the camera a second. We're gonna say goodbye. There we go. Say bye-bye, Pep. Bye-bye, Pep. All right, guys. Happy Easter from everybody from our house to your house.